Welcome to How to Chibi Tutorial. We will be using Clip Studio Paint Pro. Today we will learn how to convert any photo into a chibi character. We will be drawing a two heads and three heads tall character in this tutorial. But with this approach you can create a character of any proportions. I do really hope you enjoy it. So, let's get started. Create a new canvas. Now let's import our reference. Go to File, Import, Image. Let's resize our reference. Our reference image is a vector layer, so let's rasterize it. Select your layer in the layer panel, right click, select rasterize. We will use the default mapping pen. I would like to remind you that it's not a line art or gesture drawing tutorial. We are just going to learn how we can simplify and use a reference to create a chibi character. Let's put our layer on top. Now we are roughly going to divide the reference pose into three major sections. The shoulder, the waistline and the feet. We will see that by simply manipulating the scale of these sections. We can create a chibi characters of any proportions. We will be drawing the general two heads and three heads character. So let's get our section lines. Here I am using the lasso tool, hotkey M. Now hold control and drag the selection below. Let's resize our selection. Let's make our canvas a bit bigger. Go to edit, change canvas size and simply drag it. Let's increase it a bit more. Let's rename our layers. Don't forget that these three sections are head, torso and the legs. I am redrawing the same three sections again, by referring to the sections on the reference. I am just adjusting the proportions now. Let's take a look again what these lines are. This is roughly two heads and this one is roughly three heads. But you will see these head proportions won't matter much, since you can get any proportions with this approach. Now let's make a new layer and lower the opacity of the reference layer a bit. Now let's choose what elements we want to add to our character. The head, the neck ribbon, the top, the katana, the skirt, some wrinkles in the clothes too. We are not trying to trace anything here. We are simply making a checklist of what elements we would want to add to our chibi character. Here I am doing just a quick rough expression. Chibi characters usually have large eyes, that makes them extra cute, and the nose is usually very small. Now let's get to our main character sketching process. I lowered the opacity of the rough proportion layers so that we can sketch easily over them. I made a new layer and renamed it to sketch. 
Now, let's start our drawing. Avoid using sharp angles as much as you can. Using curves will add more appeal and cuteness to our character. Currently I am starting with the head. Since my shoulder waist and feet lines are already there, I need not worry about proportions that much. The video at this point is at 4 times the real speed so that you don't get bored. Make as many variations as you want to the design. For example I changed the hairstyle a bit to make it more appealing. Also if you encounter any problems, you can directly refer to the reference for guidance. In the initial stage, practicing and simplifying references into chibi will help you to draw them from imagination in any pose, at a later stage. We will even change the pose a bit to suit our character. Because my proportions lines, the shoulder, the waist and the feet, are already there, it's so much easier to draw the whole body in good proportions. Also you may strictly follow the proportions lines if you want. Here I am just loosely following them. But I am making sure that the three sections that we defined are clear and readable. Don't try to be too precise with the details. Remember that this is just a rough sketch, we will refine and add more details later. Keeping it loose and rough at initial stage also helps to make changes easier. Now going from two heads to three heads is pretty easy. Simply duplicate your sketch layer by right click, duplicate layer. Use the lasso tool to make the selection and hold control and simply drag the selection up. Resize the lower body so that it aligns with our section lines that we made in the beginning. The top of the head shoulder line waistline and feet. Make sure they align properly. Now, let's resize it. Getting a chibi character of any proportions is just as easy. The most important step was how we divided our reference image into three sections and rescaled them individually. You can even draw your own lines for separate sections of the body and play with their proportions to get a more variety of characters. Also, figuring out what elements to add to our character beforehand makes it super easy and saves a lot of time. Here is a time lapse of a bit more refined version.
I hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new. Thank you for watching and see you all later.